Hey, how's it going guys? So today we're going to be unboxing the Belial from Kurobukiya's Full Metal Panic line. So Kurobukiya does make a few other kits in the Full Metal Panic line. I've never built any of them as you guys have seen here on my channel, though I have built them from Aoshima and Bandai, the Arbalest and the Gernsback and the Levatine. Uh, but this, the Belial, as far as I know, is only made by Kurobukiya. So this is a fairly new kit. I believe it just came out fairly recently and it looks pretty cool. What I've heard from other people though is that Kurobukiya's uh, previous kits like the Arbalest, etc. are not as good as Bandai's versions of them, so we'll just have to see. I'll try to compare this just in terms of overall quality and details and all of that uh, in the review. This is also 160 scale, 160 scale so it's the same scale as uh, Bandai's Full Metal Panic kits. And again guys, a huge thank you to USA Gundam Store for sponsoring the review. Guys, do check the link to their store down below. They're getting more and more Kurobukiya kits in, so check out the selection that they've got on there, as well as everything else. You can use my coupon code there to save 10%. That's down there in the description as well. Just concerning the box art, I gotta say, it's um, not really the most eye-catching box art. It looks cool if, like, you're looking at it, but, like, if you just saw this in, like, a wall of kits on the shelf, I don't think this would really pop out to you, because it's, it's very dark, and so, like, you can barely see the, the mobile suit there, or, I uh, know it's not a mobile suit, so, what, slave, arm slave? But it's just a nighttime scene, a very dark background, the moon is there, kind of, and it's just very dark, even the text is dark, the, the like, dark red on there, so it's just not really super eye-catching, I think, but it is cool as just a piece of art, but I don't think that it would pop out on a shelf, anyway. Uh, over here on the side, just the same box art there once again on the bottom of the box. You can see that's what it's going to look like. Of course, it is a very dark design. It's kind of very black and dark gray with a few little bits of white here and there and a few bits of red as well, mostly on this weapon. I'm not exactly sure what that's called, but it's sort of like a bow kind of weapon. I'm not really sure what else to, to call that. It does have some gimmicks. Again, I've never seen the series. I have no uh, background information about this. Sorry guys, I'm just going to review the model kit here for you guys, but uh, the weapon does also have like change forms, kind of like similar to the Astray Red Frame Kai, I guess has that big kind of bow sort of looking uh, weapon, so I guess comparing it to something from Gundam, I, that's the first thing that comes to mind. Uh, optional parts, it has a couple different hand options there, it looks like maybe holding hands, open hands, and uh, like one straight karate chopping hand. And then a couple different weapons here, that's for like the 40 millimeter uh, barrel, gun barrels there in the arm, kind of built into the arm there. And the main weapon there, and then here's what the kit is going to look like unpainted, it really doesn't look all that different, like unpainted compared to fully painted. Obviously fully painted looks a little bit nicer, but it's really not all that different considering it's basically just dark gray, black, and white, so it's just a few like small color apps missing from that. And the list price for this kit though is going to be pretty staggering at 6,800 yen. and. Uh, we thought Bandai's Full Metal Panic kits were expensive at around 3,000 yen, and this is twice the price of that. So yeah, not for the faint of heart, uh, and it's going to be, you know, 160 scale is about the size of a high grade, uh, what we've seen from the Bandai from Bandai's versions of these kits, so that's a pretty expensive high grade kit essentially that we're getting here, but we can expect Kodobukiya's level of part separation and details in here hopefully, so we got just a bunch of dark colored parts of course, and some gray and a couple different shades of gray, and a few parts there, and it looks like we do have one pre-painted part here it looks like, we'll take a look at that, so it would be the, the eyes, so that's cool. Alright, let's get a look at the manual here, pretty cool manual, there in white with all of that on the back, just belly all there. Opening it up and we've got some cool illustrations there, illustration uh, col in color and then some line art here as well, line art of the weapon. Also some specs, this is all in Japanese unfortunately, all the text, and then just some cool illustrations there as well. We have our parts list over here, and then on with the construction, it looks like the body first, and then kind of the shoulder bits, and the kind of backpack parts and then the head, and it looks to be the arms, and the shoulders, and the waist unit, and then the legs on this fold-out section, and then once all the body is done, then moving on to the weapon, and then in the back, just kind of how to use the option parts, and things like that, and then finally the color guide is here at the back, so if you want to match the colors exactly, you've got that all here. It's all in Japanese, but you can translate that fairly easily, so you've got colors for all of the kit itself and the weapon there as well. So let's get a look at the runners. Okay, so there are no stickers with this kit or waterside decals, unfortunately, but we do have one little pre-painted part. This would be the part for the face. The eyes are pre-painted there with a tiny little bit of metallic green. 
We do have some polycaps, PC runner here, just in a kind of light brownish gray. Runner A here is the largest runner, as you can see, there's quite a lot of parts on here with parts for the main body, the hands and things like that, parts for the head on here as well. And basically the whole kit is molded in four different shades of like brownish gray. This one would be the, let's say level three out of four. It's not the darkest, there is one darker, but uh, this is a darkish gray. Runner B is in the same color, it's a little bit smaller though, and this would be the runner uh, containing the parts for the arms and the legs, I'm guessing, because we do have two of this B runner. And just so you guys know, the runner marking for all these is 160 scale Belial. Runner C here would be in, uh, let's say, level two gray, so this would be like a medium kind of gray color, the same color as the polycaps here, for these parts to be more kind of like for the joints and detail parts. And then once again, the same thing here for runner D. This would be parts for arms and leg joints and a few weapon parts on there because we've got two of this D runner. And then runner E as well, just for some more joint parts and everything. This is in ABS plastic and we've got two of these. And for runner F here, we've got our level one gray. This would be the lightest of the gray colors here, which is not as white as I thought it would be based on the outside of the box. It's definitely just a kind of light gray color. And then runner G in that same color for some more parts on here that we're going to have doubles of as we've got two of the G runner. And finally runner H, which I thought was a darker color at first glance, but actually this is the same color as the dark color that we saw on the first few runners. So actually there's just three shades of gray, uh, dark, medium, and light. So this is the darker of the grays and just a few parts here for the weapons and that's it. So yeah, as you can see, there's a, there's a fair amount of parts in there, but really not all that much more than, you know, a high-end, high-grade, let's say, like something like, for example, like the Moon Gundam or something, which even that only comes in at 3,000 yen. Uh, but again, I would say that the licensing rights for Full Metal Panic must be pretty expensive, because uh, Bandai's kits are more expensive, Kodobuki's kits are more expensive, Aoshima kits are also pretty expensive as well. So anything Full Metal Panic is unfortunately just going to be a little bit more expensive, it seems like. But we'll see how the quality does in the review. I'll have that coming up for you guys next, and we'll compare this to uh, some Bandai kits as well. So we can see how that's going to compare, and hopefully that will be interesting for you guys. So if you do have any of the further questions, of course, as always, leave those down below. Uh, check out the link to USA Gundam Store in the description as well. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks for watching guys. Remember, if you want to check the kit out for yourself, you can head over to USA Gundam store. Use that coupon code ZAKURILIUS10. Save yourself 10%. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.